Hi. Hello, hello. What's up, you guys? Hello, Stacy. Hello, Cynthia. And Flash Fan. And Roy. And John. And Audio Coffee. Clara. I'm great, Flash Fan. How are you? Michelle. Hello from the UK. Well, hello from the US. Hey, Jeffrey. Danielle. Becca Lynn. It's 59. That's not bad, Jeff. Jeffrey. Sorry. Hey, Susan and Deborah. Chai Town. Chai Town Legal. Hello. Sharon. Philip. Terry. Sharon. Sandusky. Isn't that? A football coach's name or something. Maybe I'm getting it mixed up. Um, hey, Melanie. Oh, hey, Marcus. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. He says, love your streams. Well, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. It's not 5 p.m. yet, Chai Town Legal, but nobody said you couldn't have a drink. What others don't. Don't know, can't hurt them. Just saying. What a canteen is made for. Or what do you call it? You know, like the thing that you, a flask, a flask. Smoking cats, 420. <laughs> is it? No, it's not 420 though. It is five o'clock somewhere. This is true. You're also Carrie. Well, hi, Carrie. Um, Cedar, what? How is your anxiety? No, it is where the famous Cedar Point amusement. Huh. What do you mean, how's my anxiety? You mean over the roof? Oh, it's still over the roof, you know. Michelle. Carrie destroyed her high school. I'm so confused. Oh, is that like the scary cheerleader or something? Y'all know I don't watch movies. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. Hi, I still have never gotten clarification if it's Peter or if it's Peter. Uh -huh. You worry about me because I don't know about movies. Oh, okay. Melanie, I get it. You're trying to watch the Karen Reed hearing from this morning on Brandy Churchwell. So I didn't actually watch it. So I have no idea what happened. I'm going to have to watch it. Like, I'm going to have to catch up tonight at some point because I really do actually enjoy that case, I think. I mean, who knows? Okay, I can say Peter. Okay, thank you, Peter. I don't want to watch any of them. I don't like scary movies at all. Don't like them, don't like them. He... Peter? Peter. Peter. Peter? Hmm, maybe. Kate, hello. Oh, from from Aussie land. I know. I won't do that again. Don't worry. Arlie, that's a cute name. Arlie, I love that name. Hi from Canada. Hi. Hi. Oh, not too much happened, Mads? Okay, cool. Same, Becca. Same. Yes, this is true, Smoking Cat. Life is scary enough. I do not need scary movies. Like, that is not enjoyable to me at all. 
Wait a second here. Robert Snell, I didn't even see this, but thank you so much for the super chat. $9.99, you rock. You guys are so nice to me. I just, I don't deserve all the niceness. Y'all are too nice, but thank you. I appreciate it. You hated your name? Oh, your name's beautiful. Uh, he like funny movies, Deborah. Me too. Well, I mean, to to be fair, I don't really like movies that much. But oh, I do like rom coms though. You're gonna look on the TV issue. You quit watching scary movies when what the hell started releasing the court hearing footage. Yeah, exactly right. Hello, Sheila. We could be mean. Be mean to whom? Oh, yeah, don't be mean to me, though. Then I'll stop coming here. Then I will stop showing up. Don't be mean. I don't want anybody to be mean to me. Yeah, scary movies are scary, guys. Uh, the unredacted feathers. Oh, yeah, I did. I, I saw that on, uh, what, Sunday night? But I, I haven't seen if he's, like, actually put anything out yet. But I did hear him say he was going to do Unredacted Feathers, which – was it Unredacted Feather? Wait, it's Unredacted Feather, right? Or was it Feather Unredacted? I think Unredacted Feather, which I liked. Good afternoon. Hello, Philip. Where are you traveling? Yeah, that's true. Watching ghost adventures? Ooh. Yeah, really, seriously, trick-or-treaters are scary. Oh, gosh. That's scary, Flash Van. Trolls. It's so funny when the trolls get in here. McKinley, let the chat and viewers get them. Oh. Okay. Are you telling me that's what I should do? Or are you saying that's what I, that is what I do? I don't know. Most of the time, honestly, I can't tell what, like, you know, I'm kind of gullible. First one. Wait, first one what? Oops. Okay, guys. Hey, Deborah. Good evening. Good. Hi, Zach. <laughs> to balance out the niceness, you got to still be nice. You are young. That gullible will. Dude, but here's the thing. I'm really not that young. I just turned 40. And, um, and I'm also a criminal defense attorney. So like gullible should not really be a thing in my life anymore. However, I have a hard time just like humor <clears throat> is something I don't do all that well with. So I can't really tell if people are like messing with me or if they're being trolls. I just, I don't, I don't know. And it's very hard when it's just words too. Mm-hmm. John, don't you know it? He did come here just to pick on his sis. His parents wanted him to dress up as... Dahmer. He thought Dahmer was an actor. Yikes. Y'all. That's creepy. Creepy, creepy. What's happening over here? Okay. I'm so excited that I found out about YouTube Studio. Like that. Never mind. Never mind. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy. But I didn't know that like you could you could monitor your stream in real time on YouTube. I didn't know that until, what, last week? Friday, I think? Yeah. That happened, guys. That totally, totally happened to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can check the stream health. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. Sh then I am still, I am still young. Hello. From Dallas, Texas, and from what the hell's channel? Hello, Rebecca. Hello from Austin, Texas. 
Yeah, trolls do suck. Haters make you famous. Yeah, I guess so, right? Uh, thanks, Marcus. Thanks. Yeah, sometimes sometimes we are too sensitive. Hey, Jane, how are you? Oh, thank you. Y'all, again, y'all are so nice. Like, this is like the best fake reality ever. It sucks to be gullible, can get taken advantage of, but look at it this way means you're very trusting, which equals raised right, and you have people around you that you trust. Not all bad. Yeah, this is true. And also, yeah, yeah. What about trolls are great. They triple the chat discussion, which is great for algorithm. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Man, but you know, I don't know that the anxiety is worth it. I'm going to have to say I don't think that it is, guys. Not for me. Not for me. I mean, because this is crazy. So right now it says we have 136 people in here, right? And just since this What the Hills thing, I like started doing lives every day. Like you can ask Zach or Becca or John or Flash fan. Um, hey, D. Robertson. But I used to be very, very scared of doing lives, and so I would never do them. Like one time I did one that was like nine minutes or something. Um, but yeah, so I just recently started doing this. And so in January, I think I had just gotten like at the end of the very end of January, I had like reached the 500 subs threshold. And so I could like start, I was monetized or whatever. Um, but yeah, having 148 people in chat is like way different for me, you know, being that I used to do eight minute lives and have like three people in here. If even I, the first time I think it was just Zach and flash fan, <laughs> uh, which was awesome. But yeah, so having people come in and then like also having to like pick out trolls and, or respond to trolls or like have people saying mean things. I'm like, it's too much for my brain, guys. Too much. Okay. Wait, what about the bots? Not all. Not the troll bots in Danny and Direct Channel. They suck. Oh, really? Yeah, those bot trolls are like just annoying and they just spam, right? We were talking about those last night on MG. If anyone was there about the bot trolls. Um, jumping from Megan's live. What was Megan doing? What was she doing? What was she doing? Yeah, the, I don't know. Yeah, the bots, the bots, the bots are, are weird. Hello, Stacy. Okay. Who, hey, Diane. Na, Diane. Na. Okay. Who's ready to get into this? Uh, as long as you have half a dozen to a dozen mods, you know you can trust. Then trolls will never be an issue. Yes, exactly. I know. I used to be like, oh, don't get rid of it. Hey, mystery sniper. I used to try to have the no rules rule. <laughs> we got rid of that quickly. Very quickly because I am a weenie. The one that I did with Val. Oh, yeah. And those were only because the only reason I would do those that were long is because it was a trial and I couldn't get out of it. Right. Because. You know, I was I was like dual streaming with Val just to get hours. That was so nice of Val. If y'all don't, I'm sure that you all know Valhalla awaits, but if you don't, you should go sub to his channel. He has awesome stuff on there. I think he was even streaming this morning, I saw. I stopped in for a minute. What's that? <laughs> okay. All right. 
I'm going to get into the Frankie. Oh, is that what she was doing? The Ruby Frankie? Yes, I really want to do that. Yes, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, goats are cool, aren't they? Audio coffee. Okay. Hey, Tammy. Okay, we're going to do... So we finished... We stopped yesterday on this uh, this hearing, the Ohio hearing. So the video from yesterday that they put out yesterday. Um, hey, Kate. I was just... You know what? I wasn't preparing for this stream. Instead, while I was working, I was listening to Emily D. Baker all day, all day, all day. It was very good. I hated to end it. Okay. Yes, there's Valhalla's. Um, yeah, it is hard watching the Frankie story, isn't it? It does. It is sickening. Whoa. You mod for... Four YouTube channels that have 600K to 1.4 million subs. And you've seen trolls way worse than Lynette's trolls. Her trolls are nothing. Yeah, I'm sure. Man, trolls can be annoying though, right? But I bet they're like nothing to you. Okay. Hey, JD fan. Okay. We're going to start. I'm going to add it to the stage. This is weird. Oh, neat. Okay. Let me turn it down because I know it's super loud. And y'all tell me, tell me if it needs to be higher, okay? Just understand, I'm going to slice it out. There is no promotion for this woman at all. Actually, I'm going to just take it back like 15 seconds. Thank you, Tammy. Yes, so much anger towards them, right? Ooh, paranormal part of YouTube. I have not been there yet. Okay. And we're not going to promote her either or any of the trash that she posts mm -hmm. on her trash groups. And there's so many, she even gets confused about them all during this court hearing. Just understand, I'm going to slice it out. There is no promotion for this woman at all. This is about accountability, and this is about our protection. Pure and simple. Are you familiar with this group? Yes, sir. This is a group that was organized and created by Lynette Preston. And was this created before or after the hearing on October, in the beginning of October of 2023, when we came for the protection? It was created after the civil protection order was granted. And this first post here. What? MG Law says, is that like the Beyond section at Bed Bath & Beyond? Is what like the Beyond section? So confused. But hi, MG. Church says, a lie is a lie, even if everyone believes it. But the truth is the truth, even if no one believes it. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you believe that this meme was in direct response to our civil protection order hearing? Yes, sir. She's trying to indirectly communicate with myself and my... I'm now showing you what is going to be marked as Exhibit C. This is another post from the group. Hold on. Hold on. Ms. I mean, I've been to Bed Bath & Beyond, guys, but I don't think I've been to the Beyond section. Preston, what are you doing? I had to have documents brought over. I had to have ways to defend myself. This brought me everything I just asked for. Okay, documents brought over by who? My cook at the moment worked to me. I'm in my camper and my documents were in my shed where I live. This is what we call the admission of guilt under oath that will be used in all future court hearings. I live in a shed. Completely, totally illegal in the state of Florida, and especially if you have a high needs and what she calls disabled child. There is no permit. There is no occupancy allowed whatsoever. Okay, so who else is in that room with you at the moment? Nobody. Nobody. Proceed, counsel. I have to be able to do some kind of proof, right? <clears throat> Ms. Preston, please be patient. We're having some technology difficulties. I'm 
trying to get shares for him on the phone. So that's fine. I only know one person dumb enough to try and call the sheriff while they're in court in session. Wait, what? Wait, that's the same person that actually deletes, oh, that's right, evidence during a deposition. Which, by the way, with the federal case, they are both going to be deposed, and she's going to have a two-day deposition. He's going to have a two-day deposition that there is no way. Marcus, thank you. Y'all want to see how slow I am? <laughs> Marcus King became a member. Yay. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm still, I'm still working on the little picture things that you can send. I think I'm going to do a members only live stream this week though. Members only. Yes. So thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. They can get out of. Uh, I need to speak with Lieutenant Anderson or Beecham. This is uh, an emergency. I'm on a court hearing on Zoom with Mr. Hales, and he is absolutely lying to the judge, and I need a deputy to tell the truth. He's saying that. Wait a second. She called the sheriff's office to tell them while she's in the hearing, while she's on Zoom, and clearly she did not mute herself. She's just going to go off about how he's lying? I sure hope the judge shuts her up in a moment. The day that he came in from Ohio, and ended up at the, the sheriff's department the day that we had just left court I mean, and we pulled him over to show the deputy of my phone. Ms. Preston, I'm going to warn you that everything you are saying into that phone call is being recorded into the record here and we can all hear it. You can continue and say whatever you want. I'm just warning you. I understand that the evidence is saying that the day will show up after the state was early, after court, after all that, that we talked in the next few months to a beautiful police chief and the deputy told us that our court is part, he's saying he's part pregnant, he's beautiful on purpose. He's been there. He's been fine. Hey, Wendy H. Y'all, I can't hear what she's saying. It's kind of driving me crazy. He has a phone that unfortunately didn't get parking lot. He says he parked the shed in the park. Who's backing up? Who's backing up? No, 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 no. We're going forward. Mr. Howard, proceed. All right, going back to exhibit B or C that we talked about. More posts from early November from Miss oh. uh, Press. Golly, George. Okay, we'll go back a little bit then. Thank you, Melanie. You know, sometimes, sometimes I wonder about myself. In that, the evidence, he's saying that we joined a different army. He's saying that the day was showed up after the state was early, after court, after all that. I thought John wasn't in the room. Why do we hear him like he's like right in the room, y'all? Why? Peter, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> y'all just like to hear the baby laugh, don't you? I'd love to hear that baby laugh. Makes me want another baby. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> But we can't prove it. 
here going forward. Mr. Heller, proceed. All right, going back to exhibit B or C that we talked about, more posts from early November from Miss uh, Preston. And that is the- I'm sorry, sir, have you shared your screen? I'll do that now, so. Overruled, the court will determine admissibility and relevancy after it hears the evidence. If you would, if you would allow us to continue to defend ourselves and get our case ready. Wait, what, Tammy? I'm confused. Ma'am, we have already discussed that. I have denied your motion for a continuance. Ma'am, we have already discussed that. You did not request discovery. That is a right that you have that you did not exercise. So the court will not. All right, Mr. Heller, hold that up to the screen. If Ms. Preston, if you cannot read what is on the screen, let me know and we will yes, you're take right. another action as necessary. So Jenna, I'm showing you messages. These are more messages from the other three. Okay, hold on. She said Oh, she was trying to get a done. <laughs> That's what she was calling about. She was trying to get a deputy to testify for her. Stop. This woman has lost it. Lost it. She's completely lost her marbles. She can't. Can you read it now, ma'am? No. Okay, fine. Mr. Heller, sit down. Yeah, Just stop talking. I will get it fixed. All right. <laughs> just stop talking just stop talking Lynette just just stop this poor judge she is like oh poor lady she's just like had it hasn't she Jeremy all right hold on Miss Preston can you see that document that is on the screen yes can you read it yes Mr. Heller, proceed. Okay, here we see a post from about November 16th, is that correct, of 2023? Yes, sir. And this first post here, can you read the first one under? It says, we were alone on the road for over half an hour before anyone drove down the road, and now the world can see we did nothing wrong. When will you realize it doesn't take much to see the truth in all of this, and it's not coming from anyone but capitalized you as us? Now, this situation here, speaking about standing on the road, this refers to a specific incident that you had a run-in with Mr. Cook and Ms. Preston after the protection order. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Can you describe that incident and what happened? Yes, I was leaving my property, uh, my 70 acres home, to go around the corner to my schoolhouse to work. And Mr. Cook was in the middle of North Otter Creek Avenue. And... Uh, can hear my vehicle, did not remove himself from the road. I stopped. I said 10 foot because the civil protection order says when we're on our respective properties, 10 foot away, even though I was in the road, I said 10 foot again, and he did not remove himself. Lynette Preston continued to say, you're okay, John, you're okay. Agging him on to stay. He did not remove himself. She did not re help remove him. This is all in regards to that situation. Okay. So this was a direct post regarding an incident where there was contact where you attempted to drive down the road and Mr. Mr. Cook made no effort to remove himself from the road. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So from the context of this, you have no doubt that Miss Preston commenting. Is that correct? Absolutely. It is Lynette Preston. Moving on to what will be marked as... Hey, Jim, I think you're way behind. See, Sandusky was a coach. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Penn State, right? Here's Exhibit D. This is another message from I. I want to bring your attention very specifically to the middle of this post here, where it is number three. 
Can you read number three into the record? Yes, number three. John has never pulled a firearm on anyone at any time at any meeting. You're showing just how easily you're manipulated and how gullible you are. I think the cops would have arrested him for something like that. Um, and then I want you to jump all the way down to the bottom of the paragraph after there's some text that's in all capitals that says we're building a fence. We're building a fence to protect her and us from the stalker and you. It's sad. So very sad. I hope you're all proud of yourselves. Now, when she refers to this, the stalker. Who Is she talking about the futon fence? A very nice fence indeed. Very nice fence indeed. We're building a fence. In. Who do you believe Miss Preston is referring to? Myself. And has she referred to you that in some messages? Multiple messages. Would you say it's dozens, if not more? Yes, sir. And so these messages here talking about the firearm being pulled out to you, believe that's also a direct response to our hearing for the protection order. Yes, sir. Um, so her posting, we only shown a few posts here. Uh, is this all of her posting or is this just a small portion? Of the posting? That is a very small percentage. Oh. Is that the ice cream truck? Preston, if you have other pressing business, then I'm going to remove you from this conference. No, ma'am, I have, I have to take my medication. Okay, if you need a moment. No, I don't. Okay, continue, Mr. Heller. Now I'm showing you what's being marked as Exhibit E. This is another post from Are you familiar with what this is? Yes. What is this? Copies of the Civil Protection Order. Now, in fact, this one here is this looks like a protection order from the state of Florida that she filed against you. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And she posted this online as well. Right. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Do you believe posting this online was Did another? On top of that, where does it show that it's on the hard order So, Mr. Mr. Hales, if you look at the stand. Hold on. Hold on. Objection. You're, you've made an objection. I'll take what you yes. said as an objection. Objecting to that. Hold on. She would just, sh she just can't, sh can she? Can't shut up to save her life or save her court case. I, I have sustained that objection, Mr. Heller. You may re-ask a question. Looking at Exhibit E here, if you look in the bottom left corner, you see a circular stamp on there. Can you read what that circular stamp says? Yes. The circular stamp says county and something courts, Levy County, Florida. And if you look also in the middle of this document here, you see a signature. Is that correct? Yes, it says Lynette Preston. Were you in fact served a copy of this as well? Yes, sir. Is this the last page of a protection order she filed against you in Florida? Yes, sir. And... Um, was this document posted online? Yes, as can be seen at the bottom of the exhibit. Could you believe that this posting was done? Oh, hold on. Ms. Preston, you don't get an opportunity to comment or to have little, you know, have little sayings. I need you to remain quiet while Mr. Heller is questioning his witness. You will be given an opportunity to ask your questions. Please, I'm asking you, refrain from comments, laughing, Whatever it is that you're doing during the examination. This is not a joke. It is not a joke. Did she? Okay, so she, the judge literally just told her to stop with the like sidebars, the little comments that she keeps spewing. She just could not help herself. She had to say, this is not a joke. Like, just shut up. Just don't say anything else. That's what no comments means, right? I could be wrong, but I think I'm right. So I ask you to treat it as such. Mr. Heller, proceed. <clears throat> Do you believe that posting this on online forums was done to harass you and intimidate you? Yes, sir. Moving on to what we'll be marking is Exhibit F. This one 
is a little bit harder to see. Can you tell the court what this is, if you're familiar? This is multiple pages of the civil protection order. Now, is this the protection order here in Ohio that's been posted? Yes. And so the Ohio protection order that was granted was then posted, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you believe this was done again to harass you and intimidate you and show that the, that Ms. Preston did not take seriously the orders of this court? Yes, sir. And so the posting of the protection order that was granted by this court also puts you in fear. Can you make that available to the I'll do the best I can. Yeah. Can't read any of it. Okay. Uh, and and uh, uh, ma'am, you have to say objection. You can't just. Oh my gosh! Hi, Madam Mayor's Adventures. I've been watching you. I watched the post office one last night. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I hope you are having fun on your trip. I think you're in the Keys, maybe? So happy that you're here. Talk. And I can't read any of it. It's just verbal. It's not even, it's not even. Okay. And, and, and I will sustain the objection as far as the exhibit in that I agree it is not legible based on what I am seeing. However, I will allow testimony to be given in relation to what Mr. Hales feels necessary to testify to. Mr. Haller, ask your next question. Okay, so I'm not gonna ask you the substance of what's posted in those photos, but to your knowledge, you believe that to be the protection order that was in Ohio, correct? Yes, sir, and I believe the bottom of the post gives complete context to that. These are not on the heart, and I have the heart here, and I will open it, Your Honor, and I will show you every single page of it. Okay. Again, she keeps showing her complete and total ignorance. She keeps talking about a Facebook page that she was posting hate on before the civil protection orders. We keep showing evidence from another page that she created after the civil protection orders. She went to the heart of Otter Creek, removed everybody, and kept just a couple people. But all that information still exists online. Anything you... The heart of Otter Creek. He says, hi, the expert. Don't you like how I say the first? Because you can't, you just can't type in expert and, and tag you. You have to put the first. What was the hardest? Ever part? post online is archived. It's historically saved. You can't get rid of it. It exists forever. We're not even talking about the heart of Otter Creek. We're talking about a whole nother Facebook page. And all she's doing is incriminating herself further and further and further. And yes, these hearings will be used against her in federal court as well. Ma'am? Ma'am, again, you can object. Right, and then I rule on the objection, and then I determine if we are going to continue questioning after I rule on that objection. So your objection is overruled, which means that I will hear the testimony and evidence. You can then cross-examine Mr. Hales at the conclusion of his testimony on this particular document or any document or testimony that he has provided. Mr. Heller, ask your question, please. Okay. So... You believe that this... Ma'am, we've already discussed this. Sorry. 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 I do not want to have to mute you because if you have an objection, I want to be able to hear it. So please refrain. In addition to posting about you online constantly, has there been other instances where Miss Preston has been in the same and within 10 feet of yourself or your partner misprotected by the order? Yes, sir. I'm now showing you what's going to be marked as Exhibit F. This is a video on a flash drive. Hold on. 
Hold on, I'm I'm still seeing the same document. Oh, okay. If you want to, you have the flash drive in. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, it is not showing up on the screen share. You may need to close this screen share. Okay. Get the video up, and then yeah. share your screen. Understood, Your Honor. Does that make sense? Yes, Your Honor. Except, I think we closed out of the Zoom. What's on the Gulf side just before the tollway to Fort Lauderdale? I don't know, but I heard Madam Mayor in one of her videos talking about, uh, oh man, I forgot the island or the beach, the shelling beach, you know, Sanibel, San, Sanibel, Sanzibel. I want to go there so desperately. I want to go shelling. Proceed, please. Jeremy, I'm now showing you video. This is... Petitioner's Exhibit E. Do you recognize this video? Yes, sir. Is this the video that you reviewed in preparation for today's hearing? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell the court what we're seeing here? Previously in court, Lynette Preston knew that I was flying to Ohio to file for contempt of court. She intentionally parked next to George vehicle, knowing her vehicle, enters the post office, looks directly at Mark George, then exits the post office and stays at the post office talking to another resident, Captain Dan Shannon. So this video was taken by your partner, Mark. George. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And this is the post office in Levy County? Yes, sir. And in Otter Creek, a population of less than 100 people. And this person here in the center frame, who is that? That is Lynette Preston. And so you believe she saw Miss George entered the post office and did not choose to leave, but continued to go about her business. She intentionally parked next to George, looked at Mark George as she enters the post office and then stays at the post office instead of immediately leaving. I've warned you, Miss Preston. Don't. I'm not going to warn you again. I will mute you. And so, this interaction here with Miss Preston uh, at the same space within less than 500 feet. Of Ms. George, what effect did you see that have on your partner? Uh, fear, much fear. And this continuing behavior shows. Do you believe that Miss Preston is making any efforts to honor the protection order? I think she's making every effort to dishonor the Ohio civil protection orders. And are you asking this court to find her in contempt? Have you ex caught, has this continued patterns of behavior? Have you attempted to get help from the Levy County Sheriff? Yes, as of Monday, the Levy County Sheriff is going to prosecute every incident uh, per the state attorney. Um, at first, was the state attorney hesitant to, to prosecute these matters? Yes, and as of this Monday, the state attorney and the Levy County Sheriff are going to prosecute both Lynette Preston and John Cook. At the point of this hearing, I'm relaying to the court exactly what Detective Bowers with the Levy County Sheriff Department told us. Unfortunately, they did absolutely nothing. They've let us down again and again and mm -hmm. again. Lieutenant Anderson now tells us they're doing everything they can to press charges and get these two individuals behind bars. We're hoping they're actually going to do it this time. Uh, has this cost you additional fees and expenses to have to continue to litigate this matter here in Ohio? Yes, sir. Are you asking the court to find Ms. Preston in contempt for posting online about these hearings? Yes, sir. Are you asking the court to find her in contempt for posting the protection order that was granted? Yes, sir. Are you asking the court to find her in contempt for being in less than 500 feet of your partner who has protected Miss Risk? Yes, sir. No further questions at this time. All right, thank you, Ms. Preston. This is your opportunity to ask Mr. Hales any questions if you have them. This is not your opportunity to present your own testimony and evidence. And again, if I did not make myself clear initially, we are not going back and retrying the civil stalking protection order that was previously issued. We are only discussing issues that have been testified to here today. So you may proceed if you have any questions for Mr. Hales. Mr. Hales, isn't it true that what you're doing is showing edited 
picture of what is the truth and not showing the truth? No, you're about to witness some right. incredible lawyering because Lynette Preston does Sorry. everything that her name claims. She continues to lie and I debunk. What? It's over. I was not expecting that. Um, I think you're in the wrong chat. One whose name I cannot read. You're definitely in the wrong chat. I'm sorry. Okay. Hello, Mikey. I know the second part is today, but I'm not going to be an a-hole today. Jeffrey. Yeah, I'm not going to be an a-hole and play their video like as it's playing, you know, because that's rude. And we do have 386 people in here. And and, you know, they deserve those views themselves. I mean, I know everyone goes and gives them the views anyways. Anyways, anyways is actually not a word. I can't believe I just said it. I hate when that happens. I mean, no, I was not, I was not ready. I was not ready, expert. I was not ready. I thought we had so much longer. I was really enjoying myself. Man, he's very good at cutting it off just in time. Right? So what we can do though. Anyway, <laughs> my daughter's so funny. So she's four and she's gotten into this new thing lately where she's telling stories and in between every single word, she goes like this. So, so <laughs> funny. It's really funny. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but it's, it's funny. Yeah, everyone needs to watch their videos and come back for the replay reaction here. Yes, exactly. That's why we'll probably do that part, like the next part tomorrow. Bye, D. Okay, that's understandable. Happens every day. It's okay. Oh, look at that. Tammy. Had tacos for lunch in preparation for Taco Tuesday trivia night. Man, I wish I could do... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. I wish I could do Taco Trivia... Taco Tuesday trivia night. But it's like right in the middle of my child's, my child's time. So I don't ever get to do it. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Because, oh my gosh, I'm just now seeing that I do that. I just did it. <laughs> I want, mm, I bet you do, MG. I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah, everybody, before you leave in a mass exodus, hit the like. So I'm going to make like my child. Y'all, if you did not see my post on the members only post area. You have to go check it out. It's so cute. It's my daughter this weekend on a rainbow pony that she called the unicorn in matching unicorn face paint. So cute. So cute. It might only be cute because I'm her mom. I'm not sure, but I thought it was super cute. We're going to do... The Otter Creek, Florida playlist. Okay, guys. There is. We're going to do this one. Uh -uh. Okay, we've seen that one.
Is Jail's gonna be even scarier. We have word. Hold on. Oh, okay. The volume's already down. The attorney general is going after Russell, and we have word that the attorney general is going after Mary. Yeah. So we have transitioned back to the Otter Creek playlist, and we are going to be watching. Oh, y'all are talking about food again. You're about to leave? Okay. Okay, MG. Okay. You just saw what, Marcus? Oh, the picture? I can't send you over to What the Hills. I would, Deborah, but I can't because they're not live. I would totally do that, but when they're not live, I can't send you over to them. Condition of corruption is dishonest. Call meeting in Otter Creek. No squeaks. Or Gorm yelling at Don saying, what do you think this place is, a casino? To the new mayor letting the people know transparently all the corruption that's been uncovered thus far. How in the world Mary, Mary, and Russ the Sus, and even Don the Con are in jail as of right now? I'm not quite sure, but I have a strong inclination. They're all headed that direction. Uh, the first thing we need to talk about is the assignment of the one-year term to the one seat of the newly elected council. I hope this one's not, like, this is the only thing that sucks about this, is that I've noticed... The it sounds like very echoey. At least they have like a sound system now, but on video it sounds echoey, and I'm not sure if it's going to be like the. Hey, look who it is. I may have never sat on a board or been on a board, but I don't sit. I do. <laughs> right. A a lady of action, but. I want to hear this one. I have not seen it yet. I'm interested. Let me get you up to speed of what she's talking about mm -hmm. here. Every single council member runs for a two-year term. Now, what happened here in the past is one of the council members, Laura Mott, she was also a former mayor, after Russell Meeks and before Russell Meeks, yeah, she was sandwiched in between. She ran for council. She had a two-year term. She got off of council and ran for county commissioner. She didn't have to get off of council, but she did it anyway. She did not get county commissioner, thankfully, because she's part of this corruption. And as such, the council actually appointed Captain Dan illegally onto the board. You're going to get to that later. I promise you. That's part of the corruption between Mary and emphasis with Mary and Russell. That hiccup in the chairs made it to the point where usually they vote two members one year, three members the next year, two members the next year, three members the next year. Well, that hiccup all got everything off kilter. So this year, to try and get it back on track, one of the members voted in is only serving on the council oh, yeah. for one year. But nobody knows who yet. I remember this. What would be the question on that? We need to assign that to one of I the did not. Because it was that other seat that needs to get back in line with yeah, the three and two. Right, yeah. So it needs to be assigned to one of the newly elected council. So we need to take a vote on that. Wait, so it has to be one of the newly elected council? Let me say what everybody is thinking. Since I have a tendency of doing that anyway, I, I don't care who gets offended by this. Russell Meeks Sr. did not show for the meeting. He's not there. As a matter of fact, I panned over to the empty chair on purpose. Russell's not there. Russell has intentionally sabotaged the new mayor. Intentionally put the town in all kinds of legal liability intentionally has put the town in a position where we may not have water if our bill for electric doesn't get paid who should have the one year well it should be russell and that man better step down the bill and the paper corrupt. okay don the con then let's play a game how about you watch this video and you count how many corrupt things he's being called out on. Let me start with number one, when he pulled items out of the office and said oh, they were cool. Mary's. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Madam Mayor. Russell ends up being assigned the one-year seat. Russell claims the new mayor doesn't have that authority, but, but it held up. 
Oh, thank goodness. Ah, keep watching because a witness has stepped up and said he never took him to Mary's house. Russell doesn't know anything about that office, and yet he knew enough to know what was Mary's personal items and pull them out with Richard. I guess I can skip this episode now that I know what's going to happen. Let's see. I'm going to get this far and see what happens. They don't know the password. Yeah, I go in there and turn it on and find out. Right. I had nothing to do with that, yeah. that office. That was a clerk's job. I would like to see if you could get an answer from Russell. What was removed from town hall in the midst of a lawsuit? Mm. What? All right, Don. <laughs> but a witness has come forward and texted me personally. I'm going to read this text to you and then I'm going to show it on screen as well. Not for long, but I am going to read it to you. And I'm going to leave the personal parts. Oh, this must be Brett. Because he says, John Cook even filed an ethics complaint trying to say she doesn't have that authority, but it was thrown out. Oh. Really? That's creepy. Like, why did he even get involved? What a what a weirdo. There were two truckloads, but only the second load was videotaped. Oh, okay. You can be Beethoven. What? I'll be back. You can be Beethoven. Beethoven. Haha. <laughs> okay. Nice. We're going to have to start sniping your streams too. <laughs> sniping your videos. It would take, like, I could have a full time job just putting together clips of what's going on in Otter Creek, I think. So I can't do all that, but I do try to watch your videos. Out of this text, because that's the deal I have with this resident. If I leave the personal parts out on video, I can use it on video. So I got a text. Hi. Was May 16th the day that Russell took boxes out of town hall? Question mark. I saw him go speeding by in front of, we're going to block that part out, towards 19 at 1.30 p.m. That day with boxes in the back of his truck. I have a screenshot of the text I sent. We're going to block that part out. About it after I saw him. He definitely was not going to Mary's house at that point. I have no idea if that's helpful, but I wanted you to know. My response? Yes, that is the day. I can't believe it. Sends me a text of the conversation with the other person. Russell just went flying by. Person responds, maybe DeSantis is after him. <laughs> and then this person says, yeah. Read it for yourself if you think he's not corrupt. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, is that the way it's going to be decided by a vote? And he had a tie three way tie. Uh, so I don't think it should do a vote. It should do some kind of uh, lottery type deal. Names that have or something. Lottery? People, so now then, uh, taking a vote on that just doesn't seem fair at all. What Don is trying to get at is during the election, Gail received 44 votes, I believe. And then Therese received 34, Zim received 34, and Russell received 34. Biggest plot twist of the election. Three people received the same amount of votes. But Don now is saying, well, it doesn't seem fair if we take a vote who gets the one-year term. And pulling something out of a hat is somehow fair? What's fair is you have a council member that didn't make anybody aware that they weren't going to be there. And they're not even in the seat. That's what's fair. Get rid of him. Well, hello, Brett. And Therese. <laughs> democracy. Remember, democracy. So you just can't use both. It's pretty obvious what's going to end up. Fair and legal. Miss Gershon, what's your thoughts on this subject? Yeah. Tell me. This is so smart, though. I mean, it, it does make for good YouTube, you know? And it seems like it's kind of just attracted to him, you know? Like, it finds him. So, doesn't have to circle that much. 
You heard the same thing I did. But Attorney Warm did say at the end, only as a last resort would you do things by lots. And here's Don wanting to what? Throw dice? Pick cards? Draw straws? I don't know, whoever can throw a rock the hardest at Jeremy's cameras? Let's see who can drive right through his gate. Oh, wait. They've done that already. And she got arrested. Okay, let me ask a question. How is it that Don, who can hear nothing at any moment in time, all of a sudden understands the attorney? And this is like a miracle happening here. Apparently, the way to get to Don is to speak every other word. And then all of a sudden, Don can hear you. This is like some brain mastery here. But it's not brain mastery that he's bringing up Gail in this situation. Makes no sense. She got the majority of the votes, 44. I have no idea what he's trying to get across. Yeah, None whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I don't think the attorney does either. And you're about to hear the attorney unload on really him. really don't. Why she be analyzed? She won't be. <laughs> Why is he trying to say she should be penalized? Hmm. So nobody knew Russell wasn't coming. But Russell thinks he's the best man to lead this town, to lead these people. He's the best at corruption, no doubt. Why would he not let anybody know? And why would Don want him to continue to serve on the is council? I'm going to ask the question again. Don. What does Russell have on you? Matter of fact, I tried to call him concerning our bank accounts and emailed him as well with no response or answer. Wait, This isn't a casino, Warm says. I don't know. The way that the previous administration's been running this town kind of feels like one. I mean, they've been taking advantage of all the people, taking as much money as they possibly can, and they're broke. What did they do with all the money? What did they do with my money? What did they do with everybody else's money? There's some questions what that need to be answered. And why hasn't the lawyer who represents the town kept them out of this legal liability? Because you're about to find out. He's a part of it as well. I don't see the logic in penalizing a person. She won the she ended the election and there was a three way tie. Why should she be penalized for something that she should have been a point of well, actually, Gail has 44 votes in the three way tie, and the other three people have a three way tie with 10 less votes. So it doesn't seem like that the uh, highest voter should be, I won't use the word penalized, but uh, be subject to to uh, abbreviated uh, terms. Don is so lost. Why is he bringing this up about Gail? Gail's going to be penalized? Gail isn't going to be penalized. Have you not read this council well enough? Yeah, they want the one-year term on Russell. Right? The people want Russ the sus out of oh. their council, out of the mayorship, out of the town. Did y'all have a clerk before the election? Was Mary still there at that point? Or was it one of the other 
clerks. No. Was it Russ? No. No. That's too crazy. Okay. You don't run for a particular seat. It's just a general election. And uh, so it's not like it is in, in the county and, and possibly in the Bronx. We don't run for a particular seat. Okay. I didn't get that. There's a whole lot more than that you haven't gotten, Don. You know, like hearing aids. Like, come on. At what point in life don't you realize you need hearing aids? <laughs> you paid five hundred dollars for the fire truck. Why not put in five hundred dollars in hearing aids or sell the fire truck for what it's did. actually worth? It seemed like she did leave that place in quite, quite the tizzy, quite the mess. And then buy hearing aids. Sell the bus on your property. Sell all the vehicles on your property. Scrap the metal. Clean it up. Buy hearing aids. Here's what Warm just said. You can do whatever you want. Go ahead and take a vote. You have to understand, though, the world is watching Otter Creek now. We're not talking about just Otter Creek and Cedar Key and Bronson, all of Levy. So, Matt, it is the so it's the sound system, I think, inside of the meeting. But it, I've noticed it is a lot worse when it is the attorney. And I think that's because the attorney is like on Zoom maybe, or maybe he called in or something, but it's like having to go through another layer of sound systems, I think. I mean, I know that wasn't explained correctly, you know? I don't know much about sound systems, but you kind of get the point. County, Florida, the world has its eyes on Otter Creek. As a matter of fact, there were people who came from Minnesota, Wyoming, just to be here at this meeting. The world is watching. And that's a lot of pressure. And not everybody wants that liability and that pressure when the world is watching. You got to understand, not everybody's up for that. Don the Khan, he just keeps going. Russell runs. He runs and hides. Turns red first, then runs and hides. Other people are just going, you know what? This isn't worth it. And that's okay. Because for some people, it's not worth it. It's not worth the headache. It's not worth the stress. They didn't build this place of corruption. The previous administration, Russell and Mary. What? So they were just gossiping with each other and he was billing the town. Man, where do I get a job like that? Y'all, if you know of a job where I can bill somebody for gossip, send me to that job or send that job to me. I would be fantastic. I would make a wonderful gossip attorney. Okay. Yeah, he zoomed, didn't he? I know. I haven't actually seen the attacks either. I'm actually not getting into that. <laughs> I forgot. I don't wade into that. And even Attorney Warm placed them in it unwillingly. Easy. Well, there is a abundance of information that's been found in the office mm -hmm. of the mishandling of uh, misappropriated funds into in four a Oh my gosh, I cannot tell y'all how much I like enjoy going through emails. I enjoy going through other people's emails so much. It's really been killing me that I don't have these 6,000 emails, but I feel like there's so much good stuff in there. I mean, I don't know what I would do with it, but I feel like it's good. Really good. I've thought about like doing a, a public information request, but I, I thought... 
I thought better of it because 6000 is a lot, and I'm assuming that would be really expensive. Political pursuit using town funds under the directions of Russell Meeks. There's an abundance of records in there that show this, and an entire position that has pursued and targeted certain individuals in town just to stop them as a political agenda. Um, I personally feel that Russell Meeks is one that should be investigated. The one term seat and, uh, I agree. To, so that, now that the truth of this is coming out, what, how, the, how the board and the first office has been run for the last three years. Here we go. Hold on tight. It's now been openly shared transparently that Russell was misusing the town funds to target different individuals in the town. The outsiders. Me? Yeah, absolutely. The new mayor, Therese, in the campground? Undoubtedly. Probably thousands of dollars. Zim? The, the businessman, the contractor for almost 30 years, over 30 years. Yep. Personal vendettas. Misusing the town funds to go after people and try and shut down anything they were trying to do. The bills and the paper. It's all documented. Mary forgot to delete over 6,000 emails. And she was the mouthpiece of all of it. So how about that? She's like so Becky Hill. Okay. He's so rude to her. He is so rude to her. He is so rude to her. Don needs to take a seat. He is so rude. Do I hear a motion that we're going to take a vote to vote? I'm making a motion that we vote for this position. This question. Do I hear a second? Gail. 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 In the rear second? Gail. Don't do it, Gail. Don't do it. I don't Gail, you're an incredible, incredible woman. You've done things that many people will never have an opportunity to do in their life. I don't blame you. I honestly don't blame you. If I was in the same mess, sitting in between Don and where Russell should be. Wait, he wanted her to run for mayor? Wait, or he, because you don't run for the clerk, right? But he wanted her to be both things at two different times or something? Really? But he just has to put on like a public showing of allegiance with Russ. Interesting. Very interesting. That's so weird. Sitting. I'd want out too. But I say this wholeheartedly. The people of Otter Creek need you. We need you. And I know some of the viewers go, well, what is Gail's function on the board? Gail's a thinker. She processes. And many don't understand she does have hearing aids. Mm. And so she's gone ahead and corrected that. And that takes her a little extra time to process that. But she's one of the sharpest individuals, one of the smartest people. And I'm not saying people are dumb, but she's she's at the top here in this town. Wow. No, it wasn't. Don doesn't want to vote. Don doesn't want to volunteer. There's literally nothing that will make Don happy. And Gail, do not listen to anything that Mary has ever told you. Yeah, there is 6,000 incriminating emails thus far on Mary and Russell and others on the council. I would never, ever trust anything Mary has told you. Ever. <laughs> you heard it right. The town attorney just asked Don the con what superior knowledge he has. I guess it's all about the con, right, Don? Because she wasn't running for a particular seat, she was running for a general election, but along with the rest of them. We're kidding. 
Are we accepting for volunteering for this, or are we going to table it, or what table, are we do? table it? Table it. Table it. I'm a commissioner, so table it. Thank you. Yeah, Who is this guy? This business is to see you, how you want to do it, I will honor it. You, you announce it at the next meeting, that gives you a month to think about it. Okay. Who is that is guy? That's fair. Does anybody second that question? That's fair. There we go. That's fair. <laughs> so let me run down what just really happened. The lawyer basically told Don, shut up. You have not been to law school. You're a fool. That's what he said in layman terms. He did say you've not gone to law school. So he did say that and he insinuated a whole lot more. Now, this particular lawyer has his own reputation in the legal field in this area, and it is not a good one at all. But Don has his own reputation right now on Otter Creek Council, right? Not a good one at all. Russell has a reputation. So basically, in a nutshell, what they did is they voted to table the issue. It means they'll take care of that next month. Oh, so was he, so this time, that time, he was, he had called in instead of Zoomed in? Wait, so the attorney wanted the town to Zoom him in and to pay for it. Therese said, we're not paying for that. If he wants to be part of the meeting, he can call in. So that's what he did. What's the difference between calling and Zooming? Oh, I think you're behind old Santa. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? Oh, really? Zoom wasn't free. Oh, really? Why wasn't Zoom free? I feel like I use Zoom for free. Maybe it wasn't back then, whenever that was. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense then. He expected the town to pay for it. Yeah, that's crazy. Although I do feel like in, at least in 2024, the town should definitely have Zoom capabilities, right? Yeah, he should have been present, though. That's the crazy thing. Like, he definitely should have been present, like, in person. I had no idea Zoom wasn't free either. Now I'm, like, ugh, gonna go check my account and make sure I'm not paying. It wasn't free during 2020 and 2021. Did he want an advanced version? Yeah, and it, Bronson's not even, like, that far from y'all, right? So that's weird. It's not like the next town over or something. Very interesting. I guess Otter Creek just wasn't good enough. 10 minutes. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, he should have just come in person. Remember, this new mayor is a doer. It's not going to be ignored. Yeah. It's going to be cared for next month and an action will take place on it. You think Russell will even show up next month? And frankly, if he doesn't, it should be him. Let's ask ourselves a question. If it would have been Zim who volunteered, would um, that been abstained? What if it was Therese that volunteered? Would Don abstained then? Does oh. Don agree to anything? He obviously wants Russell there, and his good old bud just left him behind. He ran. He wants Gail there as well. He didn't feel okay with that. He's the one that brought up Gail being the one with the one-year term. And then he's like, what are you talking about? And then she's going, well, that's what Mary told me. Mary's a pathological liar. Russell's a pathological liar. They're both corrupt. You got Don in the middle of this so freaking confused. Yeah, that's crazy. And didn't he come? He came to one of the meetings, right? But I think he was just like, oh, that's too much. It's too much drama for me. I'm leaving. What was it? He wasn't going to be a referee. 
You're getting cheese fries. He lives in Gainesville. Yeah, I don't know where Gainesville is, except I think I left my purse at a Taco Bell in Gainesville once. I think that happened. It's ridiculous. I wonder how he would have voted if it would have been Zim or Therese. Okay, and the next thing we had for new business was town cell phones, specifically a phone that should be attached to the mayor position for whoever is the mayor at the moment. Reviewing the bills for AT&T, we're paying roughly $506 a month for two business lines, which seems ludicrous to me. So I will be reviewing that and looking for a new plan because... That just makes no sense. Yeah, Madam Mayor, I wholeheartedly agree with you. As a matter of fact, I would like to up the ante there. Not only does it not make sense, it makes no dollars. How in the world can individuals who can't even manage their own money be put in charge of the townspeople's money? This is just... When he said he wasn't going to referee? Oh, I didn't realize she was already in there then. That's funny. Yeah, Mary, Mary had some issues, it seems, doesn't it? Or Mary. Mind-boggling to me. Literally mind-boggling. You need people who actually know how to manage and are good stewards of funds. $500 for phones? No wonder Mary said this. We need money. How much are we going to get? That, so, includes, that includes the internet connection? No, sir. The $500? Yes, sir. No, it was just for two business lines. Oh, yeah. So, doesn't Mary, like one of Mary's relatives is married to one of like russ's son russ's son is married to one of somebody that's related to mary right <laughs> they don't work They don't. And, yeah, yeah, and the line is horrible. You have a lot of noise. Like, very expensive. Very expensive. So I do want to review that, and quite possibly you could find a better internet bundle with a phone line and a cell phone included. I'm sure it's going to be way cheaper than the five or six we're paying. So I'll be looking into that and let everybody know what I come up with. Dust my eyes deceive me, or was Don just shaking his head yes in agreement? I mean, that's this is new, this is groundbreaking. I promise you, it doesn't last long, though. And what else under new business? We need to talk about the zoning and planning position. The world wants to know in all previous meetings who is the African American that sits at the end of the table and never says anything but shakes his head when Russell speaks. Now, that's Albert Fuller, one of the most educated, one of the most well-trained individuals in this entire room. This man is very, very high sought after for his field. This guy is an expert in zoning and planning and you name it, okay? Now, illegally, Russell brought him in as our new mayor is about to expose. In the bill, in the paper. That position, I don't know... If it was ever advertised, I certainly never saw it advertised, but our ordinances don't reflect anything to go along with it. And I don't know how you can have a position that don't go along with your ordinances and it's not legal. I want to make sure we all understand what's going on here. Any town is governed by its ordinances, its resolutions. Those are the laws that say what it can do and it can't do. And that council has to prove those and they can't go against the state or federal. You know, if you're if your town charter, you've heard this before. Our town charter, have you heard Don tell me? If our quorum says you can't speak. No, 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 no. Your Oh no. So is there going to be campground drama coming up in this? Otter Creek um, playlist. I guess so. You guys, <clears throat> it appears that after. Okay, I, Albert is his first name. Um, it appears that after the. Okay, he pulled already approved permits, which is. Illegal, so Therese ran for the board. Oh, okay. That stinks. They sold the campground. Oh, yeah, right, right. Um, 
Yeah, but it appears that after everybody, like after our big drop, when everybody leaves to go watch the um, the video on the hills, so at like, so 4.30 my time, and I usually finish at five, but like a few minutes before five, a whole nother group of people dip off and I don't know where they're going. I'm assuming somebody's live, but I'm, and I'm trying to figure it out so I can send you all over there. Does anybody know where I should send y'all? Anybody, anybody, in, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Live. Let's go here. Customization. I still have to say these things out loud or I mess it all up. No live. Nobody's live. That can't be. Grandma's house is live. Grandma's house also has mystery night. What is that? Shizzy, but Shizzy's upcoming. Anybody, anybody. Tug is Tug live. Okay, so I'll, should I send you all to the expert? Should I send you all to the expert? Let's see here. Oh, the expert has the uh, Taco Tuesday or whatever, right? That's in 30 minutes. Okay. Well, why can't I find him? Ship. I can't find him. I can't find him. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Nope. <laughs> That's not the right one. Upcoming. He doesn't have it. Why doesn't he have it scheduled yet? Y'all. It's also annoying. Let's see here. Okay, well, I can send you. Oh, bye, Teresa and Brett. Buckle up, people. Haircuts. Wait, what? He has a what the hell thing at 630, but I don't see, I don't see anything scheduled, Becca. Is it like on his, where is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it on live? Because see, under live, I don't see it. Maybe it's under members. Maybe it's members only. Nope. Why don't I see it? Why? If you haven't seen this yet, I think you'll like this video. Okay, I don't know, y'all. Oh, wait, who's live? not somebody we know actually okay well i guess i can't send you anywhere so i'll just say oh i'll talk with mike okay okay i can do that if he has that on if he has that feature on i will send you all there he's so funny there we go have fun have fun have fun See you all tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Bye. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, bye.